Well, wouldn't want to let down my fans, but can someone else take the first turn? I've still got some primping to do. I'll go first. Go on. I'm going to go practice for my turn. Whee! Looks like it's just you and me for now, little cuties. <laughs> Aren't you playful? Let's start getting you ready for Betty Bye. <laughs> It's your turn! Ah! What happened to your face? Turns out baby hedgehogs are really, really, really playful. Good luck tonight. And don't let them out of your sight. All right, playtime's over, Hedgies. I've got a full day of lost and found returns to do tomorrow, and I need some rest so I can be on my A-game. Get it? <laughs> Good. Uh. <laughs> Rise and shine, Alex. It's your turn. <sighs> I need more beauty sleep. You know what's worse than not getting enough beauty sleep? Not getting enough <laughs> any sleep. <laughs> Turns out hedgehogs are nocturnal. Knock what now? They sleep during the day and get more active at night. <sighs> when sleepers like me should be. Don't worry. If anyone can keep them entertained, it's me. Okay, it's showtime! <sighs> thank you, thank you! You've been a great audience! <laughs> okay, well, it's daytime and you're nocturnal, so good night! <laughs> <sighs> you're not gonna let me get my beauty nap, are you? <sighs> Peekaboo! Huh? No, not like that. Peekaboo! Hmm, better. Hey, Mommy! Huh? <gasps> my babies! rock a bye hedgies la da dee dee Hi, Alex. I was just practicing babysitting using these pine cones. You're doing great, but you know what they say. The best way to learn is to jump right in. So how about I share my turn with you? What? <gasps> my babies! Again! I can't. I'm not ready. It'll be fine. All you have to do is play games with them and keep them entertained in the terrarium. <clears throat> Will you stay with me? Of course. I'll lay right here. If you see my eyes closed, it just means I'm listening extra hard. Peekaboo! Uh. I have an idea for a new, quieter game. Hide and seek. Alex, are you sure it's okay to let him out of the terrarium? It'll be fine. And it won't be for long. I just need a little quiet so I can finish up my beauty sleep. Hedgies? Go find some place to hide. And remember. <laughs> now, Melman, cover your eyes and count to a thousand. One, two, three. Silently, in your head. Four, five, six. <laughs> Alex, wake up! <sighs> hey, Melman, what's up? It turns out the hedgies are really good at hide and seek. I still haven't found them, and I've looked everywhere. We'll find them. How far could they get? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Any hedges in there? What's the plan? You heard, Bianca. Those cupcakes will start popping out any minute. Gloria and Alex, you'll handle the art gallery work. <laughs> uh... Under my supervision, Melman and Anthony can get to work on a special batter for cake. Everyone to their stations. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. Cupcakes to be frosted coming in T minus five seconds. How hard can he be to frost a few cupcakes? Three, two, one. Here they come. Looking good. I'm a natural. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Melman, now this is where you add a pinch of sugar. Are you sure? I think I saw the bake. I watched those bakers bake all day. Trust me, kid. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's not a pinch. This is a pinch. <laughs> 
There you go. Should I put that much baking soda, too? You know what the best chefs say. Lots is good, but more is better. One most special cupcake coming right up. Now, all we gotta do is bake it. Ah, I love it when a plan comes together. Uh, uh, is this getting faster? Oh, turned up the speed. What? Oh. <laughs> Faster, Marty. Slower. I'm trying. We got this. We can do this. Okay, we can make this work. Ah! Ah! I don't know what to do. Ah! It's rising so fast. I must be a really good cupcake maker. Yeah, that must be it. You got a real talent for get back. Ah! That's not what you meant. It's perfect! Well, at least we know they taste good. <laughs> Lift on the count of three. One, two, three! Okay, okay, you got it. No, nope, no, nope. a little more left. Whoa, whoa, too much. Hit it right now. No, nope. back to the middle. Oh, easy, easy, Melman. I'm watching you. Don't drop it. Your side's going down, Melman. I just saw a cupcake floating down the street. Oh, Murray, your blood sugar must be low. This is hopeless. It'll never fit. Maybe if we squish a little here and squash a little there. Yeah! Uh, hello? Shouldn't you be following that thing? Oh, right. Yeah! <laughs> one my eye and one chance! Gotta get that cupcake! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Where'd the cupcake go? Huh? Ah, ah! We gotta get away from that cupcake! Could use more sprinkles. Now what am I going to give Kate? Her birthday is almost over. I don't know, but you better think fast. <laughs> what a day. I know it sounds wild, but it's almost as though all the animals knew it was my birthday. Even Bill the Flamingo left me a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at this little lion? <laughs> oh, a family portrait. <gasps> and a pearl necklace. Oh, Carlos, you shouldn't have. I didn't. Maybe you have a secret admirer. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever they came from, I know just where to put them. Hmm. What you got there, Melman? Hmm, check out that fancy hoof work. Did you make that yourself? <sighs> It's not as good as all of your gifts. What if Kate doesn't like it as much? She's gonna love your homemade card. How could she not? It's a gift from her favorite giraffe. All that matters is that it comes from the heart. All right, who's ready for bedtime? <sighs> What's this? Would you look at that? Your hoof print on this leaf looks almost like a heart. <sighs> I had such a wonderful birthday, but this one-of-a-kind Melman original is the icing on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I knew she'd love it. I'm gonna frame this and hang it in my office. And every time I look at it, I'll think of you. I don't know about you, Kate, but according to my watch, it's cupcake time. <gasps> Dad, you made it. Dad? You got my favorite cupcakes. Only the best for my little girl. <gasps> That's the guy from the Cupcake Bee. Wow, how'd you manage to nab these? I heard the line at the Cupcake Bee stretched for three blocks. Some nice kids gave me their spot in line. Reminded me of something you might do. Who'd have thought? Kate got her favorite cupcakes today after all. Mission Cupcake accomplished. All thanks to Melman. Melman? There, in the basket. Next to the number 12 truck. <laughs> Melman, you good, buddy? Come on up, Melman. It's a little high at the top, but I know you'll land on your hoofs. No, I'm good. I'll just be here till you're done, where it's nice and cozy and close to the ground. We've got a Class K fire alarm down on 4th and Daisy. Copy that. This is Captain the Happy. Fire Truck 12 is en route. Ready? Yep. Let's go. I can even hear the siren from here. That's because they're coming from that truck. Melman, 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 Melman get down. Quick, Melman, get out of there. I'm good. I'm perfectly safe and happy right where I am. <gasps> ah! Get me out of this truck. Ah! Come on, Alex. Good. <laughs> 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 Huh. Alex, what do I do? I'm coming, buddy. Hang on. <laughs> Gloria, you're not driving that truck, are you? It's like dancing. All you need is coordination, timing, and a delicate touch. <laughs> We're gonna get to experience the real thing, up close and personal. This is too up close and too personal. Open your eyes, buddy. You're missing the view. Don't be afraid. Remember, be cool like a cat. <gasps> be cool like a cat. Be cool like a cat. Be cool like a cat. <gasps> Alex, we're in a real fire truck. That's what I'm talking about. With real heroes. Yeah, we are. Let's just wait for the firefighters to put out that fire. Then we'll catch a ride back to the station. <sighs> that sounds like a great idea. But I want to go home now! Okay, bud, we'll go home. Except I don't know which way home is. Careful, Alex. It looks like we're in Brooklyn. Or the Bronx. Or maybe Queens. But how are we going to get a travel tunnel if we don't know where we are? Sorry, birds. Birds, they're great with the directions. Excuse me, friends of Andy's, do you know where we are? I think I scared them off. Maybe we can ask that kitten up there on that billboard. A kitten on a billboard? Hello, fellow feline. Are you okay? Poor thing's too scared to talk. Get a firefighter. They're always rescuing kittens from trees. They must know how to get a kitten down from a billboard. They're a little distracted right now. Hmm, maybe the kitten will come down on its own? Cats are pretty stubborn. Trust me, I know cats. It could take all day for it to come down. I don't have all day! <laughs> I have until bath time. We gotta do something. We can't just leave them hanging. There's gotta be a way we can save the kitten without doing anything too scary like climbing up high. <laughs> <laughs> 